Good morning everyone from Boquete, Panama. Today we are doing a coffee plantation tour. Hell yeah, you know we're gonna do some coffee stuff here in Panama. But first, taking the wife over here, we're gonna go into the main part of Boquete and uh, check out some uh, flower garden or something like that. So let's hit the road. Okay, when the flower is closed, the stems produce a lot of pollen, mm -hmm. and the pea still catch in a normal way two pollen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes one and a half, two, three, or four. Okay, if catch two pollen, means that we have. Can I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two beans or seeds in this case mm -hmm. at the moment. At the moment, if the pea still catch two pollen, two beans. Okay, it's two babies. Mm -hmm. Okay, one and a half, two or three. Mm -hmm. So this one is two because the normal way is two beans. Mm -hmm. Okay. When the auto pollinization process is done, mm -hmm. the flower open. Mm -hmm. Okay. It means in Arabica coffee, this species, we don't need bees and butterfly or insects. Oh. No, never. It's okay. self-pollinated. Yeah. Okay. Emaphrodite flowers, también porque el clima influye mucho en este proceso. Okay, I told you uh, when the flower is open, fall, and now the plant is pregnant. Mm -hmm. But why I say if it's not human? Well, because after this point, we need wait nine months to have the green cherries. And the green cherries, step by step, to the red ones, will be three months more. In total, one year. It's like, wow. if we have blooming season in April, in April we have cherries. If we have in May, in May we have cherries. The high season is January to April, okay? Here in Boquete. Okay, in Panama, we learned that we have summer and winter. It's fake. We have dry season and wet season, mm -hmm. raining season. 
that's it, right? In dry season, we have the high blooming season. So that's why it's better for coffee. Our weather affect this process because if it's raining a lot, the, the cherries absorb the water and open and we lost the coffee. Mm -hmm. the, that's why the best, the nature is smart, right? That's why the high season is in dry uh, times, okay? Oh, you can eat it? Yeah. You need to squeeze in your mouth like this. Yeah. Taste. Okay. Dulce. Is that sweet? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Wait for the red color. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay so he said you can eat these. Squeeze this somehow. Hmm. Well, it's pretty sweet when they're yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very sweet. Very sweet, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it's red, it's a normal production. Mm -hmm. If it's yellow, it's a mutation. Yeah? Is it yellow or what? It's red, very sweet. Mutation? Yeah, mm -hmm. natural mutation and different flavors. So is this uh, Arabica? Arabica. Arabica is a species. Ah, and after that we have geisha. Geisha is a type of uh, Arabica species. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, it's a type of coffee. Caturra okay. is this one. We okay. have a medium branches. It's mm -hmm. high production. They already pick it here, right? Mm -hmm. So, but in that part, it's a yellow outside. It's a yellow one and it's full. Okay? When it's full, it's that. Walking through a coffee plantation. <laughs> In this area is another is another uh, type of coffee. The name of this one is Catuay. Está preparado los chicos, eh? Pero aguante que se respeta y se anda preparado. Yeah. Not as sweet, actually, you can almost taste a little bit of coffee in that one. Hmm. It's interesting how you can actually do that, and it's encoded in like a sugar. It's like a liquid sugar in that outer skin where you have the hard coffee beans. So you have the skin and it has a like a cellulose, I don't think I can think to call it, and it's sugar. Okay, we arrived with the truck with the truck inside. Did you see this part? Mm -hmm. It's a, a tank. Okay? We put it to the top the, 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 the truck and we open the doors and the top is falling to this direction. To this pipe. Mm -hmm. The parts are going to the machine and in the red part of the top has a tank with water. The back coffee will be floating and it will coffee will be falling. Now we have a, a drum like this one inside, mm -hmm. inside the drum machine, that squeeze our coffee. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the red skin mm -hmm. and wash the sugar.
one year my mom was going to buy not rose coffee and no rose tea. I found heaven. Look at all that coffee. Oh. Wow. Let's go. Oh, my God. 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 And the, the, the last uh, levels are the break beans or the little, little uh, beans. To be sure that this, by the size, we have this machine that shakes the coffee. Mm -hmm. Heavy coffees, bigger ones will be here, the medium ones will be here, and the small ones will be here. Mm -hmm. So we put a sack here and we separate like big, medium, and small. For your countries, big. For Panama, in the tours, in our case, mediums, and this one is a cheap coffee. Okay? okay? Where yeah. does cheap coffee go? To Russia? Uh, for another company, and we sell for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The coffee gets dried here to 11%, I think he said, humidity. Then it comes over here and it gets skinned. And then these other two machines we were just looking at, sort them by sizes. And then it gets bagged from there. So that's how they break that down. without tasting some coffee. We got several different blends. I'll mix it for us. And this is all coffee grown right here on this plantation. So looking forward to this, of course. <laughs> we had a fun day drinking some coffee. Highly recommend. Too much coffee. It's either I wanna or it it wanna tours. I'll leave a link down below. It wanna tours. I'm thinking this because it has a picture of an iguana. I don't know. That's why I want to say it that way. But our tour guy Ricardo was the best. Took us through, answered all the questions, took his time. Very entertaining. Good time. That was a good trip. You like it? Yeah, I liked it. It was interesting to find out about the coffee and find out it. It takes like two years, or at least for them, two years. It's a year for the coffee from the time the little flower sprouts for it to make a bean. For them to harvest it, dry it, it's like one one week to dry. A month. A month. So a month to dry the beans. And then they age for another eight months. So you're, 
So your coffee is almost two years old by the time it gets to you. It's like a fine wine. Anyway, great tour. I learned a lot. We got to taste some good coffee. Sam, the geisha coffee that they sell here, or that they had on the tour, sells for about $9 a cup in town. And we had two cups, two different types of geisha coffee. So that's like $18 worth of coffee right there. So good time. Uh, very good tour. So like, shares, comments, appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you back for some more tour tour stick um some more stuff going on here in panama lots more to come take care and we'll see you in the next one because i don't want to screw you